Hey friends, it's Deanna here today and today we are sewing up the Sunset Dreams uh, dress. Um, super cute. It's got princess seams. It's got the little uh, heart shaped heart uh, heart uh, neckline. Um, it is uh, um, you have the option of a mini skirt or the longest skirt. Um, it is super cute. Um, there is so much that I am already thinking of doing with this pattern. Um, hacking it wise, you know, making it different. Um, even like a bathing suit top with reinforcement. There are so many things um, that you could do with this pattern and it's super cute. So we're going to sew it together so you can see how easy it really is to sew it up. Um, but before I get started, let me remind you of our fun, fun giveaway fun fan giveaway, a $50 Alien Mag gift certificate, and all you have to do is subscribe to our channel if you haven't, subscribe, and then comment below and um, you will be entered for our giveaway. So let's get started. I already cut out my pattern. Again, I'm using Alien Max um, Sunset Dreams dress pattern. Uh, cut out all my pieces. I'm using this beautiful wildflower uh, fabric, double brush poly. Um, so I'm excited and I'm using the same fabric for my liner and my outer. I know in the tutorial, um, and I might try this on the tutorial, they have, they're using a lace mesh and then a regular fabric for the liner. It is a knit fabric, so it does have the stretch. So, um, but I might try that next time because I love, love, love lace. And I just got some beautiful um lace with velvet dots so i'm like looking forward to that anyhow all right so i've got this is my front bodice see how it has the curved right here the sweetheart line i'm gonna grab my side panels and i'm gonna place them right on top of that side and i'm gonna match them up now um you have to be careful because uh this is gonna be kind of like when you set a sleeve it's kind of on the round so you're gonna set it on the round but see how over here there's this pointy side? The pointy side goes towards the inside. So that's not the side you're sewing. You're sewing the rounded side. So you're going to match up that rounded side with this rounded side of your um, middle bodice. So we're going to start at the top. As you can see, here's like the top. Um, it goes kind of, it comes up. Here it goes down on a straight line. Comes up to this top point right here. And then it kind of goes around in a rounded circle. This top part right here is going to go right at the top of that edge. And we're putting this right sides together. And what we're doing is, I'll show you. Let me pin this part and I'll show you. Is we're, ta we're taping that, we're placing right sides together, that edge at the raw edge and what you're doing is you're turning as the fabric turns so you're gonna probably put more pins in the usual times that i put pins and you're turning it as you go so you're not pulling the fabric you're just kind of turning where it needs to turn to go around in the on the round right there and i'm going to show you i'm going to pin all the way to the bottom See how it kind of goes rounded right there and you're pinning it all the way around the edge in like a rounded kind of the like we do a sleeve and we're going to do the same for the other side i'm going to show you again so that we can uh, so you can see what i'm doing we are grabbing that other piece this is the straight part this is the rounded part this is the tip top point. We're gonna put that tip top point right at the tip of the side of the front bodice, the middle bodice. We're gonna pin right there. And as you can see, see it's kind of rounded. So we're gonna to have to turn it a little bit as we go around the whole thing. And then we turn the bodice, the side bodice a little bit again, and we pin. And this can be lifting up because it's going to be kind of rounded. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. And turn it again. 
And here we get to the straight part and all the way down the side, the right sides together. Hey, you could see yourself on here. <laughs> so you go all the way around. And so now when you open it, it'll have that crease that comes out that princess seam. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sew that up. I'm using my serger to sew it up, but you can also use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. And I'm just slowly sewing this up, the side up, making sure that both the front and the, the outer and the liner, I mean the front, the two sides are getting cut right there when I'm sewing them. All right, now we've sewn it together. There's those seams. And I'm going to steam them all going the right way, the same way. I say the right way, but what is the right way? But um, I just want to make sure that they're all going the same way, all those seams. That way, it has a nice, smooth finish. Look at how nice that looks. Okay. So that's our front bodice and we're going to repeat the same thing for our back, our liner bodice. Okay. But now I'm going to go ahead and grab my back, my side, my, yeah, I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to grab my back. So I've got my middle piece. Okay. And I'm going to grab my sides and attach them. Now make sure that they're right side up because it is longer or wider at the top and then it gets a little bit narrower at the waistline as it's coming in so we're putting those right sides together right on those two raw edges and we're gonna sew the raw edges together just pin and so again, I'm using my serger, uh, but any kind of stretch stitch on your sewing machine would work just fine. I just love my serger. Almost lost my scissors. So now I'm going to remove the pins and do the same thing to the bodice, to the back bodice, steam those seams. Whichever way you want them to go is fine with me as long as they're both all, the whole thing is going the same way, the seam. Now we're going to place this back bodice right on top of the the uh, front. Remember, the wider part is up top and it gets narrower towards the center. And I'm going to grab those side seams, right sides together, and match them up. And then we're going to sew those. And again, we're going to be doing this same whole thing, all these steps, to the liner. This is your outer, then you're going to be doing it to the outer. I mean, this is your liner, you're going to be doing it to the outer. And I'm going to go ahead and sew those side seams together. Side seams are sewn. Remove that pin. And it is ready. I forgot to tell you. If you want to, you can top stitch those seams, those princess seams. Um, go in with a zigzag stitch. Just make sure that it doesn't stretch the fabric and it looks all weird. But you can go in and, and um, top stitch that if you want. I am not going to go and top stitch because I like it um, like that. I don't like it. I don't want to top. I don't like this the look of top stitching on like some a dressier top or anything like that. So I don't I don't like to do it. But anyway, I did my outer and my liner. They're finished. And I'm trying to figure out which one I like better. It's kind of cool that this one has like a flower right in the middle. It kind of looks like a... Uh, like a pendant you see but i also like this one it's pretty but i think i'm going to go with i don't know what should i go with 
Should I go with the one that looks like it's got a pendant in the middle? Maybe I will. I'm thinking this is going to be look beautiful with, um, I might make a cropped version of the Chapman cardigan. This is the Chapman cardigan, like a white, all white. And um, it will look really pretty for springtime, a pretty uh, dress, you know, because it might still be a little bit chilly, but not super cold. So like a nice Chapman cardigan would be perfect over this dress. And I'll do like a shorter version. Um, anyway, so now we're going to put make the straps. You can use um, already made, you know, like the strap that you got at the store or you can make your own. So we're going to make our own. I made it a little bit thicker than the pattern uh, just because I wanted to be able to cover my whole strap. I don't want to have to worry about it. So I wanted to make it a little bit thicker um, and we fold it right sides together. And I'm going to sew that raw edge together. together. And now I'm going to turn it. I'll use my turning tool because <laughs> I still haven't found my other turning tool. And for those of you who have watched me before and hear me say that every time, I haven't found my turning tool. I said it just for you because you know you want to hear it. So I'm just doing this pin. And this one is actually kind of easy to turn because it's wider. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay turned and now we can go ahead and steam it ah. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna grab my elastic and fit it right through all the way the elastic will give it stability so that like even though if your dress pulls on it because it's heavy, um, the elastic will be able to keep it from the band not stretching as much as it would if it was just the fabric sitting there on your shoulder. So you can use elastic. If you don't want to use elastic, you don't have to, but it just gives it more reinforcement. <clears throat> it's folding right here. Okay, so there it is. And now we're going to go ahead and attach it to our outer. We're going to grab our outer bodice. We're going to place the straps. I already did my other strap as well. So that's why you don't see it here. It's already done. Right side of the strap, right by that princess seam. And I'm going to pin it. And then I'm going to do the same with the other strap. Here's my other strap. Right by that princess seam. And if anything, I like my strap to kind of hang out a little bit because I'd rather it be like, I'd rather cut a little tiny bit of the strap off than for some reason if it goes in, see how it's like overlapping just a tiny bit. If for some reason it falls down and then when I sew it, it doesn't really catch it all the way. And then I have like, my strap is not hanging right. That would not be good. So then for the back, I'm coming back around and I'm facing it right sides together again, but just make sure that it's lined up right like this and turned. So the right side is gonna be right on or right beside that back seam. And if you wanna go ahead and try it on you and see where that strap it fits better on you, on your body, then, you know, go ahead and by all means do that. I'm placing, my elastic's a little bit smaller, thinner than my uh, strap. So I want my elastic to be right in the middle. But honestly, if you have a bigger, wider strap like I do, and you have elastic that's bigger than and you want to do that, go ahead. By all means. I feel like I say that all the time. By all means. By all means. Because I feel like with sewing, it's so exciting that you can kind of switch it up and do your own thing sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and top stitch, not top stitch, baste these straps on. Because now we're going to sew our liner and outer together and our straps will get trapped in there. 
but I want to base them on so that they don't move and scooch down when I'm trying to sew them together and then they will be crooked or not on all the way. So I'm just basting them. Basically all I'm doing is a long straight stitch on my sewing machine that later when I'm done sewing them up, I can just pull it right off and take it off of there. So it won't even matter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and baste it and then we're gonna move on to put in the bodices together. Straps are basted on, as you can see the long stitch right there. And here's my strap, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to turn, I'll turn this one inside out and my straps will be on the inside kind of fit it down there, okay? I'm gonna grab it like this so I can show you my straps are in there. Get them, put them down there out of the way so that when you sew the bodices together, they don't get involved and caught. So there they are, they're just hanging down at the bottom. I'm gonna grab my liner. I'm gonna fit it right into my bodice and it's right sides together. So I'm gonna match all my seams, right sides together. One seam. The next seam with my strap sandwich between them. And then the next seam, again, my strap sandwich between them. And then the next seam, the side seam. And then <clears throat> the princess seam in the front. Strap sandwich between them again. Then I want to make sure that my sweetheart, oh, I didn't pin this one yet. My other sweetheart princess seam right here. And my heart, my sweetheart neck, uh, neckline, I wanna make sure that it's matching evenly. And if you want, sometimes what I'll do when I'm doing something that has like the V right here at the front, you can go in with your sewing machine <clears throat> and do a straight stitch, uh, like a, a basting stitch or something right here at like a quarter of an inch down from the uh, top and go down stop at the V and go back up so it has the shape already. So when you go ahead and sew it, it still be there and that can help you reinforce it so it doesn't move. So it doesn't move when you get it right here. And now I, I am going to surge it um, because I just like to. So I'm gonna go down and then around and up. So mine will be more of a, like, uh, not so much as a pin, then it'd be like a round, like rounded edge. Um, because of the serger and the knife, you can disengage the knife if you want as you're doing it. Um, or if you want to, you want that sharper V, um, you can do the V with, the, like I said, with a straight stitch right there and then go back with a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine and just finish that edge right there so it's nice and, and even right there. Um, so you can do that to give it more of a sharp look right there at the sweetheart uh, point. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and sew all those raw edges at the top together. Make sure your straps are down at the bottom. And honestly, if you wanted to, um, it would be uh, great to do this with the liner fabric, be more of a heavier fabric um, to kind of, um, if you wanted more support and you um, on it, um, you could do that. Uh, but I am just using the same uh, li liner and outer. So I'm gonna start at the back and I'm gonna go all the way around and I'm gonna cross my fingers that everything looks good at the front and I don't chop it off with my serger. Um, so we're gonna go around and then we'll come back to do our skirt and we'll be basically done. Moment of truth, because I am kinda nervous. I give you all these tips about how to do that neckline and I just went for it with my serger. We'll see what happened. <clears throat> As I was going over it with my serger, I was like, because the older serger I had, you could disengage the knife. This one you can't. Look, great. 
it turned out great. I was all nervous for nothing. Okay, so what we're gonna do right here is steam really nicely. Again, if you wanna go ahead and top stitch, you may. I am not going to because I don't like the Lucas top stitching. Then you can pull those basting stitches, go back on the inside and pull those basting stitches out so you can not have tons of colorful thread hanging out. Steam all the way around. How cute is this? And then we're gonna go ahead and put our skirt together and we are almost done. So that's our bodice, let's put it aside. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my skirt and I'm gonna place them right sides together, those side seams. Here's my one side seam. And I'm gonna place it right on top. Make sure that you don't put it upside down. You want your waist to be up top, obviously, and your uh, long wider to be at the bottom. And we're gonna pin and so both of those sides. We're gonna sew this side together. And then we're gonna do for the, the same for the other side. We're gonna sew that side together as well to create the skirt. If you wanna go ahead and after you do this, if you wanna go ahead and hem, you can go ahead and do that. Usually a lot of times I wait. Um, with knits, if you don't wanna hem, I sometimes don't hem because I feel like you can leave it raw sometimes with knit. Um, but if you are going to hem, sometimes I also like to wait until after I try it on so I can see. it. Um, the pattern calls for a half an inch allowance for hemming, but sometimes I want it a little bit shorter. Sometimes I want it, I like it the length it ended up so I won't hem it or whatever. So um, usually I do that at the end, but right now we're gonna go ahead and sew those sides together and then we're gonna attach the skirt and we'll be done. All right, our skirt is put together. You see, hmm. you might want to remove the pins. I don't know why I sometimes forget to remove my pins. I think all of them are removed. Now we're going to go ahead and what I like to do is quarter my skirt. So I'm going to grab my front, my two side seams, put them together and I'm going to mark the front and the back and I'm gonna do the same for the bodice I'm gonna grab my two side seams together go to the front and this is the reason why some it's it's important to have similar weights on your fabric and liner um, I'd say it's really important to have a if you're gonna have something thicker, maybe the liner should be thicker, um, <clears throat> like more stable. Because I mean, yeah, because you don't want it pulling. You don't want one or the other pulling on the fabric and making it sag. Um, so you want to kind of make sure that they're pretty similar in weight. Um, is what I like to usually do. Okay, so right now my bodice is right side out, and the reason how I know that is because obviously you can see my strap lines. So I want to turn it inside out and uh, I mean uh, is that what it's called anyway all that to say that I want the right side of my bodice to touch the right side of my skirt so I'm going to my if my skirt is right side out then I want my bodice to be inside out so the right side of my bodice is touching the right side of my skirt so I am pinning putting my skirt in my bodice and I am pinning those quarter points, side seams and those half seams, the front and the back seams we marked. So make sure all of them are matching. Here we go to the front. And you can pin as much or as little as you want. I don't pin very much. I don't know why. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew those side seams, those seams 
together, right sides together, all the way around, raw edges together, right sides together, okay? And remember, it's gonna be three layers because it's gonna be liner, outer, and skirt. And you wanna make sure that they match up. So if you have to stretch just a little bit to make the seam match up, make the um, edges, the raw edges match up, then you can do that. But you shouldn't really even have to do very much of anything. It should match up pretty evenly. So we're gonna go ahead and sew. I like to go by quarters and grab where my pin is, make sure all is lined up, make sure that my fabric is underneath it is pulled out of the way so it's not gonna get cut. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew. And I do that for every single one of my quarter points. Now the moment of truth. My dress is finished. All I have to do now is hem my skirt and I am done. How cute is this? I love the sweetheart line. I love that it's lined. I love the straps. I just love the higher waist um, line. I love the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you love your dress when you finish it. Come show us pictures of what you've made on our Facebook or Instagram page. Uh, please comment, like, share. Uh, follow us if you haven't followed us on Facebook and Instagram. And subscribe to our channel so you never miss another sew along. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.